Hello, I am Arion. This is Book Sell It's May Wrap Up. Thank you very much. I did not get much read. Want to know why? <laughs> the house. I've been doing a ton of stuff in the house. You guys have probably been following along in the last two videos that we posted about all the stuff that's going on in the house. Plus it's summer, spring, summer, and the yard, which takes about four hours to mow, etc. Anyway, the books. DNF'd. I will have a video, if I haven't already posted it, a video about the two DNF's that I had for this month. I read Elijah, um, let's see, A Man of Heroism and Humility by Charles R. Swindle. Um, I'm... I'm not a big fan of Swindle. Let me see. I gave it two stars. I think that's pretty much the standard for these books. It was okay. I would have liked it more had there been more information about Elijah and less about the author. Just saying. And I had a library book that I read by... Dr. Daniel G. Amen. I'll put a little thingy right here. And it's super small, 117 pages, and basically he has a acronym for remembrance and how to improve your memory. And I will try and do each letter. I'm not sure how I will be able to do that, but R, rest, E, exercise, M, meditation and prayer, etc. And uh, it, it was such, I read it in like an hour. It was such a super, super quick book. And then I wrote my little notes on it. And I'm glad I checked it out. I have one other book by him that I want to read. I will put that in the next video for my June possible TBR, which is getting out of control, I'm just saying. Okay, another, okay, so I think I had put this on my TBR, but I threw in two surprises. What's so great about Christianity, Dinesh D'Souza? Not what I thought. I, there were some things in here that were good, but, there's a lot that I disagree with. It's basically philosophy, him trying to take philosophy to argue Christianity, which you're not supposed to do. I'm going to unhaul it. Am I glad I read it? No, not really. <laughs> not really. There's a lot of orange in here. I'm just saying. Uh, however, I snuck in two books, well, two books that weren't on my TBR, or what I, I hadn't planned on reading them. The Splendid and the Vile by Eric Larson. Yay! Number two. I just found out that he has a brand new book out on Sumter, and I'll probably wait till it's not so new and then buy it and read it, because this book was so much better than his Devil in the White City, in my opinion. It was really good. I l listened to some of the audio while I was painting my vanity in the West Wing. <laughs> that side of the house. And um, yeah, it was good. And so there was a lot of information about Churchill, his family, I think his son was probably a, his son was less than stellar. And the shenanigans that people were getting up to behaving badly. And uh, I do not appreciate how he manipulated uh, FDR, although I don't like FDR either. Uh, I say either. Churchill may or may not have been a better individual. And I find it very interesting how comfortable he was in his own skin 
being around uh, FDR when FDR came to visit. This was a good book. I liked it. It was. There were some parts in it that I did not like. It's like, aha, TMI, TMI. But that book was better. Okay, the last one that I snuck in, Inside American Education, The Decline, The Deception, The Dogmas by Thomas Sowell. I wish I had read this in 1999. This book is fantastic. I, okay, the shenanigans, shenanigans, I like that word lately, have, can you tell? Thomas Sowell shared information about professors doing inappropriate inappropriate things in their classroom and how was that okay there were things in there that was just one professor straight up showed porn in his classroom just sort of powerpoint at your pleasure oh, 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 whoops looks look what popped up <laughs> no okay no always no i would have complained how was that acceptable? And then you get tenure, so you can't even fire these losers. And then one professor told a student, it's like, well, you missed this test, so you know what you can do? You can write an essay about your private sex life. You know what I would have put? I am a virgin, I am a virgin, I am a virgin, rinse, repeat, five pages, single spaced, what a, you know, whatever their requirements were back then. Usually it's double spaced, but you know, Times, Roman, Tin Font, whatever. What garbage and the nonsense. This is a fantastic book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Everything that Thomas Sowell wrote about is worse now. Wow, that's disturbing. Okay, well anyway. <laughs> That was my wrap-up. I only read, I say only, uh, five pages, uh, five pages, I only read, uh, I read five books, one was a library book, and I will be unhauling these, including my DNF, oh, you know what, I DNF two books, uh, I DNF'd Chaos as well. And if I haven't already posted that video, I will post it after this wrap-up. So I read five books. I read 1,402 books. Three were nonfiction. Interestingly enough, the Dinesh D'Souza book, I considered a faith book, but it's not listed as a faith book. And then two faith books, two DNS. I brought six books in, but I am unhauling 13 Fantastic. So I am very happy with those results and this is my reading log thus far. So thank you very much for joining me and hang around because tomorrow I'll have the June TBR. Bye.